Hey folks, it's Mike and Angel with Retro RV Recon. We're coming to you today from Toledo Bend. Yep, that's the Toledo Bend Reservoir behind us. Toledo Bend Reservoir is all the way on the west side of Louisiana and skirts the east side of Texas. Yep. We're on the Texas side right now, yep. but our campground is on the Louisiana side. Oh, this campground is so beautiful. We have a beautiful view from our spot. Our campground is Cypress Bend Campground. You're gonna to wanna to watch this. So uh, hang on and we're gonna give you the campground drive through. During the drive through, we're gonna share with you some of the things that we've done in our state and in the area. Yep, and then after that, I'm gonna do the site walk around. And we do this for every, every campground, campground, every site, every, every time. time. Here we go. Cypress Bend Park. It says Cypress Bend Park, but there is a campground back here. It's yes. not in the name. I'll tell you what, the entrance is nice. It is beautiful. Look at all these flowers. <laughs> the Sabine River Authority parks controls about six different campgrounds on Toledo yep. Bend. Yep. When you check in, you get a pass, a pass code for after hours. Show my tags. Yeah, it's get, two gates. It's a gate in and a gate out, which I think is really convenient considering all the boaters coming through here. I've always liked that idea to, to yeah. have to gate in and gate me out. Because then you when you keep pumping, because then you don't have to worry about people driving through the campground at all hours of the night, right? Right. There are all golf cart rentals here. Yeah. And ice right there, you can see. And they're electric. They're they are electric. Yeah, electric. There's even a charging station up there by the uh, jetty. Yeah, there is. We discovered, we couldn't figure out what it was for until we started seeing these electric carts and yeah. we saw them plugged in up there. I was thinking maybe they were eating you boats. Oh, we're joking. Gonna I'm joking. No we're boat. gonna miss the big fish because it's on the other side. Gonna when we it. turn, we'll get it. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna get the big fish. Okay. Everybody's gonna get the big fish here. Yep. Toledo Bend, tell them, baby. Toledo Bend Reservoir, famous for bass fishing. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to show y'all the, the main attraction. Here's what you see when you pull into this park, get in through the gate. <clears throat> Board launch. That's the wow factor right there. Man, this is a beautiful it place. It is beautiful. And I watched the sun go down up there yesterday afternoon. Yeah, it's really pretty out there. All right, here's that pivot pan. There we go. There's the campground behind us. There's the beach. You see, there's the boat launch. And here's the here's the wife. <laughs> here's the dock. What do you call this thing we're on anyway? Got some folks fishing here. out here. Fishing here. We watched yep. her bait her on the hook. We were very impressed. Yep. And there's the reservoir behind us. Man, that's nice. It is so beautiful. Yep. Oh, and by the way, in the background, that's Texas. So I, we haven't seen very many bicycles out here. Mm -hmm. But I, I would suggest bringing electric bikes if you have them because it's up and down. There's a lot of hills here. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, we had a workout even with the electric bike. Yeah, we sure did. And we tested those batteries too. My thumb is killing me. We went a really, <laughs> we went a good ways. We put some mileage on them for sure. There is a bike path that goes through town, Toledo town, but um, we didn't see any bikes riding along the highway. It's not, it doesn't look very wide and, or safe, I should say. So here it is. There <clears> it <throat> is, Toledo Bend. That is a huge pavilion. Oh, we should t probably tell them where we're located on Toledo Bend. We're about the midway. Yeah, we're the midway. Toledo That's Bend. right. Midway, You're only Toledo seeing Bend. A, a small little section. Of
That's more, lots of fish, baby. More shoreline than California. More shoreline than California. More shoreline than the entire state of California. The average depth is 25 feet. The deepest part is 120 feet. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. There are wider parts yes. of Toledo Bay. But, I mean, it's impressive just in itself. That just tells you how big it is, though. Yeah. Straight ahead over that white ramp, you'll see there's a playground back there. And it's a, it's a little point that um, no go, no carts are allowed. I think, well, we rode our bicycles over there. But it's well, it's really bicycles. it's really nice uh, area for the kids oh, to play. Oh, it is. And it's right there by the swimming and, beach, too. So, yeah. when they get tired of swimming, they can run up and play in the playground. I hope that y'all can see that playground. Yeah. It's really, really nice. Straight ahead, right off to that white mm -hmm. sign that says Save, Saving River Authority. Mm -hmm. Right on the other side of that is a beach. Mm -hmm. you, you might be able to see the rails going down to the water. I think we have some I think, footage I of think that. we did get some yeah, footage, of, some that. footage yeah. of that. See a lot of people out enjoying the beach. A little swimming beach area. Whew. I'm tempted to jump in that water, Michael. Okay, they, these are the cabins right up here. And you can see you have uh, water access to your cabin. Mm -hmm. You see somebody's got a little party barge going on. They thought of everything yeah. here. This, this is, is really a fun, a fun uh, park. It is. Camp, uh, for RVs, for, for uh, boating. Fishing, which... Yeah, fishing, and of course these cabins, all of these cabins look really new. Mm -hmm, they do. They're you know, spacious too. You know, they have the front porches, which yeah. is... Facing the water. You know, some cabin, you, you get up to them and they got cobwebs all over the place. Oh. These are very well maintained. Yeah, and look, you can look, see they're being cleaned. Yeah, this, these folks right here are cleaning now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wish we could get that. I'm, you going to turn around? Yeah, well, okay. I'm going to turn around and Look at this view right from in. the cabins, guys. Look at this. Look at the cabin. Would you hold that for Michael me? Michael Wayne. I'm backing up right now. I'm a nervous oh. Nelly. It's a good thing we're not going to those cabins, huh? We'd have to park <laughs> up here. <laughs> oh, there's a road, baby. You should have told me there was a road well, up right there. Well, I thought you saw oh, the road. Oh, now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I didn't know. No, I did okay. not see the road. I thought it was a death drop. You want to hear us when we ride around in the Smoky <laughs> Wait Mountains? Wait to him. <laughs> so, yeah, this is really nice. It is. It's a beautiful, beautiful spot. I see cabin, the cabin numbers go up to nine, so there must be nine of them. We can check the map on that just to be sure. We'll yeah. Grab it. And here's a little common area. Well, I guess nobody really plays right there, but let me see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn hard to the left, give you guys a view. Ten, baby. There are ten cabins. Ten of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so all of this, all this wooded area. Oh, it's beautiful. You go roaming around. Let your kids. We did see deer. Not right here, but. Big one, too. Yeah, it ran out in front of us. He's going to have a big old rack on him when he gets over there. And another thing about this area back here where the cabins are, it's so, it's just a short little walk to the swim beach, to the playground, to the pavilion, to the fishing wharf. Yep. It's all right there. And it's water access with your boat. A 10 minute bike ride over to the uh, resort. I would recommend you do if you have any bike. Mm -hmm. But just be prepared to go up some hills. Yeah, yeah, we got some really beautiful uh, footage of a point that we found over there by the resort. Oh. We stumbled across this peninsula right here. Oh yeah. You can see in the distance, in the far distance. Yeah, right. The right there. That's the campground That's the right campground. there. So we're, we're a pretty good ways away from yeah. the campground on our we rode, bikes. We rode our electric bikes all the way out here. Um, Look at the map. We're actually at the point where the resort is. The, yep. the um, Cypress Bend Resort, which is a beautiful place, right? Yes, yeah. Man, that was. Man, we got lucky with that. We had that whole point to ourselves. Yeah, that was And nice. then you could barely see the campground from over there, which was really cool. It was way in the distance. The, the wind was really blowing, so the, uh, it sounded like we're at a beach. It sounded like surf. But it felt so good. I caught that right there. I went ahead and caught that, and uh, we had it mounted. <laughs> we didn't throw that right one back. And, uh, went ahead and put that one It right was a there. keeper. That's a trophy fish right there. Went ahead and donated that one. <laughs> 
<clears throat> asphalt. Asphalt roads. It's so nice, especially for electric bikes too. Mm -hmm. And just hauling your camper in here. It's nice. And you can see now we're coming into the RV campground section. Mm -hmm. Straight ahead is the the beach area for the uh, campground. All right, folks, here we go. This is the RV campground section. To the left is a road that goes to the back loop. We're going to pick that up in a minute. We're going to show you the sites with the big, beautiful views. Yep. <laughs> the big payoff. Now that site right there, I don't remember the number. That was site 17 we just passed up. On the left, it was All right, so this cross country is in site number one, and they have a nice view. That is a... Oh they wow, nice that's view. a beautiful, beautiful spot. You'll see when we get around it. And it's gonna be site number two with the Ram 2500. There is a beach down there too. Yeah, we're right, right past that it. big old Ram. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna be uh, all the numbers on the on the um, right side. Number three is where the three. silver Chevrolet Silverado was. This site stayed open, surprisingly. Number four was open yeah. the whole time we were here. Number five, number six is right there, empty. Where the black truck is. Maybe we need to slow down a little bit. It's a little well, bit there fast. Was, okay, well, I got a motor. Somebody behind okay, me. Okay, but let's let them go. Right here by the jetty, the jetty, the path going to the jetty is between site six and seven. And either one of those spots has a beautiful, beautiful lake view. Yep. All of these do. Yep. Uh, yes, they can't can even see. see our camper. No, not yet. They're gonna. Okay. Yeah, uh, we're gonna favor the camera's gonna favor the right side so we can get a better view. Mm -hmm. It's really difficult to show off both sides with one camera, mm -hmm. and you make multiple passes. The one that you just got a good long look at was site seven. Yes, yeah, and that seven. is typical of what these waterfront sites and pads look like yes that it's concrete pad asphalt to pull in like we said yeah. the roads were just repaved with asphalt right. so, so the gray wolf is eight and then nine and then ten and i think after ten uh you start to get a wooded view but y'all look at the grassy area between your site and the beach is that with all these shade trees now the sites aren't that close it looks close mm -hmm. because you got a couple of vehicles parked right here yeah and they have their boats parked. yeah you have folks with their boats which you know so this uh, dark this Challenger RV is site number 11 mm -hmm. see another red truck okay let's get the sign real quick what's it say all right, so we're going to go to uh, sites 30 through 58. Okay, uh, that's site 30 where that Denali, that white Denali is, 32. Look at the map. These are pretty sites. You have 34. You, know you still have a water view up here on the hill. Yep. And that's site 50 straight ahead. Site 50. Make this little turn. This is pretty wooded. But, but you, you'll see when I make the turn. Everybody, you can still turn around and look toward the water and see it. That's 52. stay back here you might not have a water view but you have a nice spot well you're gonna have a water view through your windows facing light but not your eye yeah that's the thing but some of these other ones on the other side you will and that's 56 I believe correct me if I'm wrong yeah it's 56 yep 56 and that Puma is 58 Now, straight ahead where that Corvette is, I bet, well, I bet that Corvette can really pull that. <laughs> it's sight 62 on the right, and going left, it's from 62, 61, and 60. So, straight ahead is 61. 
And you'll see there's a sign that says brown section. We're going to catch that one yeah. in a minute. But right. these are still the lake view sites. Look yeah. at this. And that prowler is site 60. And a we laundry have a, room. a nice laundry room in here. But check this view when we turn. You can, that's water that you see. Yep. Through all those trees. So you still have a pretty view of Toledo Bend. Yep, that's site 44 with that blue. Uh, yeah, thank you, Gulf Or they, I think they call those side by sides, though. The solitude is in site 42. And this site right here is 40. Let's see, that's pretty. Yeah, that's you still nice have a spot. water view in, in site 40. You don't have much of a. Because you're high up. You don't have much of a. It's a big pad, but you don't have much of a. Uh, much greenery right outside your path. It looks like it's shared with that other side behind it, but still look at the view. Yeah. And we're kind of zigzagging in, mm -hmm. so you'll have seen this uh, white Denali before. But we're getting to the inside loop now. Yeah. So it's 33 where the Amerilite was. Yeah, the Super C is in 31. Mm -hmm. I'm really liking those Super C. Yeah, I like We've seen too. those a lot now. That's a nice color scheme on that one, too. That's still John and Destiny. Yeah. All right, these are sites 20 through 28. Yeah. Okay, so the inside loop, what you're looking at right now on the left side is site 17, and we're going to turn, and 20 is going to come into view. But the, and then you can start to see our camper over there. And on the right side is site 21. Call that right there is 21. It's hard to get that inside loop. We're going to get it because I'm going to turn around and come back. That's site 23 right there where that, uh, what's that, a sportsman? Mm -hmm. That's a nice long trailer. Yep. And that empty one is 25. Now, I'm going to do something, going to do something a little different because we have to show off our camper. <laughs> So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around and go back down this road. Yeah, and then we can get the inside yeah. loop. They can see the view from up here right. on the hill. Um, is that foggy on the window? Does that affect the video? It's not showing up yet. Okay. You sure? Uh, I don't see it. Okay. I turn the air down. Mm -hmm. Alright, so coming into view is site 26. And right on the other side of 26, is site 14, that's right next to our camper. And then you'll see our retro over there, that's site 15. Right ahead of us is site 24. But you can see the water view, look how nice that is. Mm -hmm. These sites would be so nice. Yep. Any one of these sites would be nice because look at the view. Yep. And right there, site 22. I like this this inside loop. It's, but, you, you have know, the view. Yeah, it, it, it was worth us turning around and showing it off because oh, if, yeah. if you want if you want to come out here and, and all the uh, the water lots, the water sites you're taking, get one of these inside loops. They're nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that happened to us. Remember, yeah. Mary? Now would be a good time to mention the issue with the map yeah so when i when i went to reserve our spot the uh i'm just going to go ahead and go this way okay we thought we were getting site eight yeah i preserved site, water. site eight i think it was eight b mm -hmm. and i thought oh man we're getting eight site eight that's awesome mm -hmm. can't believe it we got On lucky the water. but uh this loop here is g i think it's g double check me but it has uh, the numbering system starts at one. Yeah, they call this the green right. loop. Right, and it ends at 47. But the back loop starts at one and it ends at uh, 16. So make sure when you when you reserve your spot, make sure you're getting the water spot and not the back loop. Yeah, because we would have been in the woods back up there, which is where we're headed now, right, babe? Yeah, that's right. But look. I suggest, <clears throat> from what I saw and what I heard at the office when we got here, the first thing they ask you is, did you reserve online? 
Yeah. So I suggest you just call them and get the one you want. So they, they are sure to give you the one, the site that you want. It's just, um, I don't know why. I don't know why on the map, all of the numbers default to one loop, but it's just call. If you want yeah. a waterfront site, call yeah. them. Calling them guarantees you're going to get a waterfront if it's available. Yeah. Let's go get us a good burger. All right, so I'm having the uh, shrimp quesadillas. Quesadillas. Mm -hmm. What are you eating, Michael? A cheeseburger, oh boy. Mm -hmm. Look, show them that bread, babe. It's not like boy bread at, our, at back bread. home. It's just like flat, but it's so flat. good, it's right? French bread that's been pressed. Yeah, Delicious. it's the same flavor, but they scrunch it so it make it easier to eat. There's nobody over there. Let me do this. So Curtis Deli, y'all. starting on the back loop and right here with this class A is site 16 and again you can still see the you can water. still see the water from here and straight ahead is uh, 14 P I'm not quite sure how that goes oh I see pull through maybe the P yeah pull through but look off to the left that's site 15 right there it's a back end. Look like nobody uses it. I don't even see a pad there. Yeah, there is pad? one. So really? you got a 14P pull through. Yep, there's a site right there. And we're heading right into the sun. Sorry about that. That pull through, boy, you are by yourself up, up on there. A hill, Man. Lots of privacy and a water view. Yep. Look at and, that. Yep, you got a water view. From sure your awning right. side. All right, so if I were to if I were to stay on this road right here, you would, we would be looking at site 13. So that um, that camper, I can't see what it is. The camper with the black truck. That's site 13. Looking at the map. South something. And yeah. Nice bath houses. Yeah, the, oh, oh my gosh, they're, they're all good. And coming up, we're gonna be looking at the map. Site 11 on my side on the the left. So it's gonna go like this. It's gonna go uh, on the driver's side or the left side. It's gonna be 11, 10, 9, 8, 6, 4, 2, 1. And on the right side, where the, you see a tenth over there, it's gonna be 12, 7, 5, and 3. And what site is the tent in? Do you we'll, know? Uh, well, when we get to it, I'll okay. tell you. All right. Yeah, because these numbers on this back loop, they're facing the road. They're not facing yes. as you're pulling up. So that pad we just passed up is site 12. Mm -hmm. And that's 11 on my side on the right, and then 10 on, I'm sorry, on the left, and 10 on the left. And there's nine straight ahead. And see this eight right here? That's the site we actually reserved. Yeah. It was an accident. And you can... It, there's too many woods to see the water from yeah, here. Yeah, you can't see it. There's no view here. back here on this loop. Right. But it's cheaper too, yeah. right? Yes, it costs it less. The tent was on site seven, and on the left is site six. It's five next to the tent. Yep. Site four, we just passed. And then left. That, that Ram 3500 is sitting on site three. Site two and one straight ahead. In view. Yeah. They're, look how Is level that, they are. They're yeah. so. They're nice sites. They're really nice sites. Yeah, they're nice sites. And you don't have anything behind you but wooded hill area. Yeah. And you'll see in just a second how this comes back into the other loop because you're going to see that Corvette. <laughs> it's eye catching. Yeah, it's eye catching. I mean, who sees a Corvette out in the campground? I, I know, right? My brother would appreciate that. He would. How about that, David? You seeing that? Yeah. My brother's got a nice car, man. Um, Site 62, 62 was yeah. 
empty on the right next to the Corvette. Okay. So now we're coming from the laundry room, heading back to our camper. Mm -hmm. Look at the view. Look at the view. Yep. Look at that view. Look at that. Let me tell you what. A lot of people are drawn to Tilly Bend for bass fishing. I would be drawn just for the view. This yep. is a beautiful campground. Yep. And look, I'm gonna throw in there real quick. Angel and I drove over to North Toledo Bend to rent canoe, a canoe. We did, we did. So we've been, we've but been one. There were no That's boat cool. rentals here is the point that we're trying to yeah. make. But they suggested North Toledo Bend State Park. And so we went up there and we rented a canoe. And it so what are we doing? Washing the inside of this it's a good day for us to be on the water. It's a bad day for the ants. Yep. <laughs> Show them how it's done, baby. I'm oh, wolf, baby. You did it twice. Oh, here's what I did. it's such a cool thing to show people, though. All right, here's what I did. Okay. Turn it over like this. Yep, got a little bit of water. all them ants out of that canoe. How about that? How about that? No more ants. Right? Then I do this. Put thing back in the water. No. no. Get in it right here. All right. Woo. No, and it was it was a whole lot of fun. So just so we could say we went out on the water. All right, Michael? Yep. And we did. We went out there. It paddling. was really nice. Sixteen, you will not be disappointed. What's the other one next to us? Um, Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You will not be disappointed. You will have a, from your awning. We you, know, you can sit out in it. We sat out in our chairs in front of yes. our camper and just enjoyed every sunset. It was so beautiful. Well, that's the uh, the campground drive-through. And uh, hang on just one second, and I'm gonna give you the site walk around. Hey, folks, here's the site walk around. Site 15. All right, I'm standing out here by the road. This is one beautiful campground. Like we said before, it was an error on the website. There's a site eight. Well, the number numbers duplicate on the website, but there's a, I think a prefix or a suffix of P and G. So we thought we were gonna get site eight, which is, I mean, I wanna show you site eight. Right there is site eight. Seven is where the Jeep is. Eight. 
nine is with the boat, the 10 a little further down and so on. So yeah, make sure you, you either call or double check what you're doing. Because I made the mistake and I thought we were getting eight and actually the eight I reserved was way in the back. Anyway, enough of that. So you can see it's a long, long, uh, long area. The pad itself looks like it's about 40 feet. It's a little, uh, it's a little high in the back. Not too bad. It's pretty level all the way around. You have plenty of room. On this side, you have plenty of room on the other side in the back. We didn't have any neighbors at all here. We were the only one on this particular loop on the inside of it. Picnic table. You can see the, um, you can see how it's off now. See how level it is. Right now, our camper is facing west. So that's west, right there. And right now the camera's pointing south. Got some nice coverage. The cell service over here is, it's okay. Angel has Verizon and I have AT&T. I think she gets better service than I do. Pad's a little bit broken up in the front, but not a problem. This was a little bit of something here. So your power is right there, all the way in the back. You can see there's a little gap right here. Because we had so much room, the, 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 the pad was so long, I thought I'd just put the camper in the middle this time. We'll have this little back section right here to set up but it was a little too far away from my power. You see, I got my power cord stretched all the way out. You can see this is a full hookup site. Got a mirror. Should have just looked and see how much power we draw this weekend. Typical setup. Nothing fancy. Water connection. The sewer connection is right in the middle. I'd imagine this accommodates uh, like a class A or super C's or C's more so than a uh, travel trailer or I guess. I guess you guys with fifth wheels have uh that would be a good spot for your sewer connection because you have most of them have two. Look around. Straight ahead is a site. And then I pan around the whole area. We really like this place. And it's view of the water. This is you know, we're on the inside loop. You got a decent view. And um, I'll go to the right a little more. You see the campgrounds are a little higher up. Everybody steps up about, looks like maybe 10 feet from road to road. So everybody's kind of got a nice view of the water. Anyway. They got some red trucks out here. I don't think I have ever been anywhere. I've seen so many red trucks. Maybe not here, but in the area around the, the Toledo Bend area. It's a good site. There's a burn ban out here this weekend, so nobody was had any campfires going. Of course, it was kind of warm, dude. Got some good trees up ahead. Around uh, three o'clock, maybe four o'clock on, this site is in full sun. It's good early in the morning, there's a bunch of trees, but it's in full sun. Yeah, 
Angel and I do these little reviews for every campground we go to. And I do the site walk around for every site we stay in. And if you guys find value in any of this information, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You'll help us to help other people. If you want to see them, if you do subscribe and you want to see what we have, just go ahead and hit that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Come on up here to this pad here. Come on. Uh, let's see what side of that. There's a bathhouse right there you can walk to. This is site 24. Huh, I'll be darn. 24 was the site where we're gonna stay in um, at South Toledo Bend State Park. So yeah, here's site 24. So I was telling you that they step them up. See, really everybody has a little bit of a lake view here. Cypress Bend Campground. All right, folks, I'll finish up right here. Come on out this way, bring your boat, bring your fishing poles, bring your bicycles. That way you can have uh, some happy trails and happy camping. I'm bringing fanny pack. Yeah, bring fanny pack back. <laughs> Hey folks, it's Mike and Angel with Retro RV Recon. I'm standing naturally. Aye. Ooh, baby, I bet they got some alligators up in there. Hey folks, it's Mike and Angel with Retro RV Recon. Hey, we're coming to you today from this beautiful, I can't talk about my hands. <laughs> hey folks. We're coming to hey you. Hey folks, it's Mike Delete and I have to pen. hold the selfie Delete stick. Film. I'm awesome. I'm, I'm awesome. Y'all heard her. I'm awesome. Oh. <laughs> That's going to be funny. That's now okay. Wonder where did he learn that from? But you know what? But you don't really sound like that either. Have, Have fun storming, storming the, the castle. castle. Remember, right that, there. remember that movie, The Jerk, when the guy made it the thing and holds the glass yeah. and it made everybody cross eyed <laughs> The Jerk. Off the ground. Off the hey folks, I didn't do a liquor fish. Yet. Yet. We still have in the morning. Maybe we need to dance during this sunset. How romantic this is. In our dorky bike helmets. Come on. Everybody who comes here, really want to know the best thing to fish in here. Isn't that the next best thing to fish in? It's better than fishing. <laughs> I love you. Because my mic's still on. Yeah. You hear that, guys? It's better than fishing. <laughs> Bye.